Hi, once again, Bill Pfeiffer from Mary's Field. Tomorrow is uh, Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the 40 days of Lent. What is Lent? Why do we, why do we have this period of 40 days in our life uh, at all? What does it do? What's it supposed to do in our lives? And I'm reminded of uh, some of the opening words from the, uh, the Broadway play Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. An audience, the words were, an audience is willing to accept only what it's prepared to believe in. And isn't that the truth? You know, an audience only really takes in what it's prepared to take in. And that's true even of a Sunday morning congregation in church. People come and they're willing to accept only what they're prepared to, to believe in. And so if you think about that, preparation is really an important thing, isn't it? You know, you've got to be prepared. And the more you're prepared, the more you're able to accept, the more you're able to receive, the more you're able to grow, the more you're able to be transformed, the more you're able to help other people. And so it's a, it's a constant ball that, that, that really continues to roll and to make all kinds of things uh, happen in our lives, huh? So for, Lent is 40 days of slowing down uh, the worldly dash uh, really to, to nowhere. Uh, I remember uh, uh, teaching a couple of, uh, of Muslim uh, uh, sisters in my Latin class. And uh, Majid was one of them. And I, uh, about 10 or 10.30 in the morning, I said, Majid, you don't look so good. You really look a little pale. And she said to me, well, I've been up since 4 o'clock in the morning. Our family every morning gets up early and we have family prayers. But we're in Ramadan right now. And I'm not allowed to eat or to drink until supper time, at which time we have a, a really big, a big meal. And so this little girl really inspired me. She's, she's sitting in my class not eating or drinking, and she's up since four o'clock in the morning having prayed. Now, that's pretty darn impressive, you know, and here we sometimes complain about 40 days of Lent where we give up this or we give up that, and uh, here's a little girl who's, uh, you know, uh, putting us all to shame in, in a very real way. And so, you know, Lent is a very important time. Uh, the people that go to church are going to have ashes put on their forehead, and those ashes are going to be put on the forehead with the words, Remember, man, that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return, helping us to understand our uh, find finitude, you know, that we're limited, uh, that we're travelers through this world. Billy Graham used to say often, uh, look, I, I'm, I'm only a traveler uh, on this earth. You know, there's other things coming that are much more important than, than uh, the things that are happening around me. And, and so Lent is a time to realize all of these important things and to be t in touch with the false self. You know, that keeps getting in the way, our selfishness, our pride, our ego, our need to be right, our judgmentalism, all that junk that's always present in our lives. And uh, Lent is a time to begin to at attacking that. We'll talk about that again a, a little bit more at, at another time, but, but uh, uh, for today, it's Ash Wednesday tomorrow. There's a Hasidic tale that says everybody should have a coat with two pockets, in one pocket, you put dust in the other pocket filled with gold. You know, to remind us that, remember, man, you're only dust. On the other hand, we are that dust that God has created and made us into something that's really special and unique and wonderful. And so it's a twofold thing, isn't it? Uh, some suggestions... Uh, for Lent might be, uh, pick up the scriptures if you haven't, uh, the Gospels especially, and I think especially St. John's Gospel. I, I've spent months and months and months in that. There's just so much richness in that Gospel, particularly for Lent from chapter 12 on. All kinds of marvelous thing, beginning with chapter 13. It's called the Book of Glory, and uh, there's marvelous pieces of teaching in there that all of us need that will help us to get rid of that false self and begin to do the true things. If you were here yesterday, you know, spend time each night during Lent going over 1 Corinthians uh, 13. Huh? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. And then say, Bill is uh, patient. Bill is not uh, kind. Bill is not jealous. Well, you do that every night for 40 nights, and you're going to come up being a heck of a lot different. And so you really want to, to, to perhaps do that. The other uh, thing that you might do is uh, have a book like Mary's uh, Mantle, this is 46 days of deep thought, the kind that's worth, again, 10 marriage counseling sessions, 10 sessions with a really good spiritual director, 10 sessions with a psychologist. Two-minute book every day, 
but meant for across the board. doesn't matter what your religion, what your background is. There's teaching in here that will make you more whole in 40 days. And that's what Lent is, uh, you know, is, uh, is all about. So um, uh, take advantage of this time. Don't let it go by without having something transformed inside of you so that for those of you who are Christian on Easter Sunday, you can rise up and say, I'm a new person. I've been transformed during this time, and now I'm going to be a, someone who's going to transform others. We need these days people who are transformed, not just people with answers. People have all, all kinds of thoughts and stuff going on. We need transformed people who touch others and transform them by their very essence, by their very being. And that's what we're being called to do during this Lent. Special, special time. Happy Lent. It's, it's a time to rejoice. It's a time of inspiration, a time to be transformed and make, uh, and make all kinds of wonderful things happen in you. Remember always, you want to be happy tomorrow? Happiness tomorrow depends seriously on doing the truth today. Stick with us and we're going to go the whole 10 yards during the next six months or year or two years. Good things are going to happen in your life. Thank you for being with us today. God bless.